Addiction. Addiction has become a large part of modern society. Characterized as a compulsion, addicts are everywhere. And you can be addicted to anything, not just drugs, from binge eating to shopping to purging and even social media. Anything that gives your body a dopamine surge can be addicting, as it's not the act in of itself that's addicting, it's the way it makes you feel. That's why those described as having a addictive personality may have multiple addictions. However, the contributing factors of addiction can have some environmental and social factors as we see alcohol everywhere from tv to online we love watching a drunk indulge in alcoholism for entertainment the first depiction of this can be seen in charlie chaplin's silent movie 1 a.m where we see him falling over in a drunken stupor over and over again Nonetheless, TV showcased many famous drunks, from Homer Simpson to Al Bundy, from Married With Children. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Typically shown as a person who is a danger to themselves and sometimes others. However, they just can't stop themselves from having one more drink. Another factor that contributes to addiction is environmental and social factors. Social media depicts individuals who are dealing with trauma or stress to turn to the bottle as a way to alleviate pain. Besides that, there are also other social factors such as peer pressure, as well as just the availability of alcohol. So the use of alcohol in these instances are seen as a source of comfort or a way for you to disassociate from your current reality. The constant exposure of alcohol being seen in this way aids in the desensitization of the impacts of alcohol. But the reality is the widespread availability of alcohol makes it the easiest and one of the most legal dopamine rush that one can get. But why does this matter? Well, because the entertainment culture of Twitch basically requires content creators to be switched on and more entertaining, because that's what would make good content. So that oh so addictive dopamine reward system, that same reward system is rewarding some of the most scandalous and salacious behavior. Introducing Just The Minx, a content creator whose addiction, loneliness and pain have been monetized in a Truman Show like reality series, where the audience get to tune in to see how far she will go and what she will do next. But that begs the question, in the pursuit of entertainment, when is it appropriate for companies like Twitch to step in and say enough is enough? Should they have the authority to disable harmful and destructive content? And for us as viewers, as well as friends of an individual who may have alcoholism, are we educated in the best ways to deal with somebody who is afflicted with addiction? I am going to attempt to answer all of these questions and more in today's video essay, The Glamorization of Addiction, How Just a Minx Lost Everything. Just a Minx, real name Rebecca, is a popular Twitch streamer and content creator who has gained a significant following of over 2 million followers on Twitch for her humorous and engaging personality. Born on November 3rd, 1996, she began streaming on Twitch in 2018 and garnered a huge following after her participation in the Austin show's Love or Host, a dating show live streamed on Twitch. One of the most notable things about Just a Minx's streams is her humor. She has a strong sense of humor, quick wit, sharp tongue, and uses frequently self-deprecating humor. This has made her seem very relatable to many of her viewers. Her streams often involve her interacting with her audience, as she tends to stream within the category of just chatting and she has grown a dedicated fan base who appreciate her for her immense sense of humor and authenticity. 
Rebecca frequently drinks in her streams and her drunk streams have become a source of entertainment for many of her fans. In September 2021, Rebecca played into the role of an alcoholic when she trolled her audience into believing that she was drunk and drinking multiple liquors from the bottle live. And it's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. However, However. You got you got your baited. You got your baited. Ch -ch 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 baited. Even as recently as three weeks ago, Just a Minx has actually been temporarily banned from Twitch for getting overly drunk on stream. However, more recently, Just a Minx alcohol consumption has gotten to a place of no return. She is losing friendships as well as job opportunities. With her last binging events leading her to have to move from her apartment in LA and return back home to her home country of Ireland. As it seems like La La Land, the land of overindulgence has caused her to go too far. <laughs> Addiction alters the brain's reward system, making it extremely difficult for individuals to control their impulses. This can lead to negative consequences in various different areas of one's life, from their relationship to their work, as well as their overall well-being. And one of the key factors in addiction is that reward system. It is responsible for the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that is associated with pleasure and reward. When an individual engages in behavior that is pleasurable, such as taking drugs or engaging in gambling, the brain releases dopamine, which reinforces that behavior and creates a desire to repeat it. Over time, the brain's reward system can become resistant and desensitized to the dopamine, which can lead to tolerance as well as dependence. This means that the individual has to have more and more of the substance or behavior in order to have the same level of pleasure rewards, which can lead to addiction. This reward-based positive reinforcement is further incentivized by the ability to monetize that negative behavior. Self-destruction is seen as entertainment. In Rebecca's case, the unpredictability of what could happen or is about to happen makes streams seem even more exciting to her viewers. In the past, we have seen Minx pass out at creator parties. Um, uh, fair enough. Um, what are your, uh, your goals? Uh, to stream more. And what about in life in general? What do you want to? What kind of impact you want to leave on the, on, the, uh, on life? What do I want to do in life? What kind of impact you want to leave on in life? Impact to be uh... as well as dive onto tables. Now what are you gonna do? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay, bro? And every time she does something that's wild and unpredictable she generates a bigger audience. And due to her growing numbers, she is further rewarded by being able to attend these high profile streaming parties where alcohol is likely to be consumed. And thus the cycle continues. This for me is further amplified by the need to quote unquote perform during streams. In order for streams to be entertaining, the creator themselves need to be fun in some capacity, whether that's their engaging and magnetic personality or their skill level when it comes to gameplay. With Minx, who usually does just chatting streams, she relies pretty heavily on her engaging personality. And the interesting part about this is that Justin Minx actually spoke about this in a recent apology video about the paradox it is that she faces between being the streamer Minx and Rebecca. Take a look. But it's like, I feel stuck in two worlds. I think even if I do get better, I'm still gonna be Minx. And it's like, do I go down the road where I try to get better and try to become normal? Or do I go down the road where I'm just Minx? similar to these other band streamers. 
In that clip, she seems to be worried about quote unquote losing herself. In my opinion, that to me is her being worried about losing the entertainment value of the persona it is that she put forward to the world. And honestly, I believe that that's something that could resonate with so many people. In 2020 to 2022, the quarantine lockdowns had many people living entirely indoors. Many people turned to alcohol during this time, as we saw. Using data from a national survey of US adults on their drinking habits, that found that excessive drinking, such as binge drinking, increased by 21%. Now that's an incredibly large margin of individuals who turned to binge drinking in that time. However, the world went back to normal or as normal as the world could possibly be. So those in that time who did not develop alcoholism pretty much just returned back to normal drinking habits. However, when you place an internet personality in an unnatural environment where they are inside the predominant amount of time entertaining an audience, it can be easy to depend on alcohol to breathe life into streams. So for somebody like Minx, she's literally living quarantine every single day. But what's the motivation to stop? Well, there is none because every single time that Minx got wild, she was rewarded with more subscribers, more money and more views. She garnered more friends and was able to go into more high profile places. That was until the 2023 Streamer Awards. <laughs> So at this point, how and what went down at the Streamer Awards 2023 party and after party has been discussed at nauseam at this point. So I'm just going to give you guys like a quick TLDR as to what happened at the event. The Streamer Awards is a streaming event that is created by QT Cinderella. It's a streamer award show for streamers by streamers with the incentive of appreciating everybody for all of the work it is that they do on the platform Twitch and other streaming platforms. This year's Streaming Awards was hosted by Cutie Cinderella as well as Valkyrie, two of the most prominent girl streamers on the Twitch platform. So basically what had happened was a couple of days before the Stream Awards events took place, Just a Minx reached out to Cutie Cinderella to say that she had purchased some tickets for the balcony and that she was going to be attending the Stream Awards and to congratulate her for like a really good job on the stream rewards so far. QT Cinderella, obviously being good friends with Just Minx, said, hey, I would be happy to have you on the floor with the rest of the creators away from everybody else, as long as you promise me that you will not drink. Just a Minx promised that she would not be drinking at the event and that she was happy to be able to attend and be on the floor with the rest of the streamers and gave her her word that there would be no drinking that takes place. After the stream rewards took place, there was a after party that was paid for by cutie cinderella which she says cost her over fifty thousand dollars whilst at that party minx at this point according to cutie cinderella's recollection of events was totally totally wasted and that's when she became obstructive and nuisance the ambulance was called and because of that they had to shut down the party the party that she had spent so much money on so clearly cutie cinderella was pissed uh a few weeks ago and brings up streamer awards and i have a moment where i think you know what this is again a person i really have cared about for so many years i'm gonna give her another chance and i said minx because she told me she bought tickets for the balcony i said minx you can come sit on the floor with all the other streamers you have to promise me one thing and she was like what anything and i said do not drink be completely sober you need to promise me this like promise me and she was like i promise i'll do anything i was like great and like i was like genuinely like i will show you the messages multiple times me just saying i'm not kidding promise me and she, i promise i said completely sober i promise like she promised me over and over again anyway i get to the party um she's wasted uh she is getting escorted out by security because she's trying to throw heaters into the pool and um then which is bad is a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. Heaters? The big so the, propane. The big gas heaters. 
Like the ones that are like like seven feet, eight feet tall. She was tall. trying to put those in the pool. I heard she was trying to throw Saikuno in the pool. Yeah, and people. She was trying to run Which in the pool. is a bad thing. Also, bad. also, also a bad thing. Also bad. Um, and so I, uh, I, and I'm being told that like security's handling it. And I'm like, you know what? I have to deal with this other problem. So hopefully security Jesus, handles I'm it. Apparently upon walking her out, um, she went limp with the intention of making it harder to kick her out. You know, dead body weight is much harder to that. Um, and in doing so that tactical, uh, yeah, tactical, some other stuff happens. All of a sudden she's just laying on the ground limp and no longer cooperating and getting removed from the party. Um, now her friend that is with her is very concerned. Obviously now I'm getting concerned cause this is someone's safety. Yeah, I'm uh, watching it. And, you know, I'm, we're trying to figure out, uh, does she need an Uber home? Does she need an Uber to an emergency room? Now, the way that this was spun on social media by so many different individuals is that QT Cinderella is such a good person, such a good friend. She really tried to help her out and that just the minx had basically betrayed her friend's trust. And because of that, she should never have been given such an opportunity. But I also wanted to raise a point that I don't think that anybody's actually raised when it comes to this. We have to remember that at the time that minx had reached out to QT Cinderella that at this point she had already bought tickets for the balcony. Now I imagine with this being a streamer event by streamers for streamers that having a large streamer with such a large audience in a normal space with the normies could have been a hazard. So for the event as well as event safety in general it was probably safer to have Minx on the floor with the rest of the creators. I mean, at this point, the only other option that QT Cinderella had was to basically not allow her to attend the event, even though she had purchased tickets, which when you think about how that would be if it was presented online, that would just be totally bad social media optics. I mean, the reality is, is that Justin Minx just wasn't invited to the event with the rest of the creators. So I don't think it's so far to believe that she wasn't invited to the event for a reason because Cutie Cinderella has a long-standing history with Just a Minx. In fact, the pair of them used to do a podcast together called The E-Girls Rejects. A lot of people knew them in proximity to each other. Now, after the after party that was shut down took place, Just a Minx basically went to social media to say that she had suffered a seizure. And this is where Cutie Cinderella had absolutely had it. This is what QT Cinderella had to say. Minx tweeted, I assumed that getting drunk after the party would be fine. Clearly it was not. QT Cinderella said, oh, go F yourself. You were drunk before the after party and I almost had you thrown out the show because you were yelling and making everybody uncomfortable. I have tried everything with you, rehab everything. I hope this is your rock bottom. And then when Minx decided to reaffirm that she most definitely had a seizure, this is what Cutie Cinderella had to say. Minx, you did not have a seizure. I was there the entire time. Also, nobody pushed you. You're just lying. This picture is from you getting liquids at the ER. Now, after the social media back and forth between QT Cinderella and Jester Minx took place, then Jester Minx decided to return back to her Twitch to sit down and do an apology. This is what she had to say. I do want to say that people say I didn't have a seizure. I definitely did when I was pushed over. I did see the response saying I was there the whole time. The doctor from Cedar Sinai definitely confirmed it was a seizure. People are saying apologize to QE, obviously, for people that know I have been blocked. I'm just waiting for the invoice for the after party and I will pay it. I haven't been able to apologize to people privately yet, no, due to being blocked. I just come out from the hospital. How seizures work is you lose your memory almost for 24 hours. So I just slept all day yesterday. I didn't realize what was happening until today. Yeah, I shouldn't have drunk. I shouldn't have drunk. I'm not gonna lie, I was hanging with people, someone that I thought was very attractive, got nervous and started drinking. At the awards, uh, when I was yelling, I was just yelling to hype QE up. I wasn't actually yelling at anyone else. When it's gonna end, you keep doing this shit though. When I get better, I guess. But it's like, I feel stuck in two worlds. I think even if I do get better, I'm still gonna be minx. And it's like, 
do I go down the road where I try to get better and try to become normal or do I go down the road where I'm just minx similar to these other band streamers I don't know now, whilst I understand that QT Cinderella has every right and reason to say that I don't want to associate with this kind of behaviour anymore, it's affecting me, it's affecting me to watch somebody I care about do this to themselves, I don't want nothing to do with it, I commend her for that much, but it does pose another question, and I think it's a question that I think a lot of people are probably going to have a problem with me over, but do we as content creators and viewers know the appropriate way to deal with somebody who is dealing with addiction because in august of 2022 in the clip it is that i showed earlier justin minx dived across a beer pong table people say in the pursuit to make content but also in a drunken stupor which then changed the trajectory of the entire event causing cutie cinderella to ask me minx to leave the event then again with this streamer award stuff we know that there's going to be alcohol around and alcohol consumed for me this is the equivalent of telling somebody who is addicted to drugs hey come and chill it with me in this trap house you wouldn't do it or sending somebody who has alcoholism to a bar to hang out where everyone's going to be drinking you're literally placing their one vice in front of them and then telling them, hey, you know, have some self-control. Inviting somebody who has alcoholism to a frat party is not the smart thing to do. Inviting somebody who has alcoholism to streamer parties where alcohol is going to be consumed is not a smart thing to do. And then everybody's posing the opposing finger at Minx saying, you should have controlled yourself. How dare you get this wrong? And I think the one thing that people don't seem to understand when it comes to addiction is that relapse is also a part of recovery. There isn't just this light bulb moment for most people where all of a sudden they suddenly just change their ways. For 99.9% .9 of addicts, there are numerous moments where they just keep getting it wrong until they finally come to that place of being able to count down the years of sobriety. So the way that social media is currently choosing to treat just a minx just feels off because it's not productive. In fact, it's counterproductive. Usually, as we've discussed, people drink in moments of pain, loneliness, isolation, and making this person feel even more isolated, not just by the streamers, but by her very own community, is only going to, in my opinion, have the potential to drive them to do more of what it is that they do. In fact, another streamer called Delinity sat down and spoke about how the community have been treating Minx and basically said that there was a fundamental difference between Cutie Cinderella basically abstaining from being this person's friend versus the way that the community at large have been treating her. Take a look. I don't freaking know what it is. I don't know her that well. I'm close to her, but I don't know the extent of her problems because I've tried reaching out for help a million times and I can't do like like it, it just there's just a point where you just can't do anything what i'm trying to say is she's already someone who's in pain and and if you want to tell her like hey i'm not gonna be in your life anymore until you get better that's a good thing you should do that you should tell an addict like hey i'm not gonna be in your life anymore until you get better that's a good thing that's you establishing boundaries now you as a viewer going on and telling her and attacking her and like commenting on things online like that does not help anyone that's all i'm trying to say so for me personally, I just believe that people should just have a little bit more compassion and understand, once again, I'm going to say this loud so everyone can hear, the relapse is a part of recovery. Going to rehab isn't going to stop you from whatever it is that you are addicted to. It's the trying over and over again to get to that goal that is ultimately going to help you. Just a Minx back in 2020 said that she was going to stop drinking for a year. She didn't make that milestone. And it's not because that's not what she wants. It's clear she told the world that that's what she wants, but she's just not ready to do that yet. So we're going to see just a Minx constantly, you know, fall over the steps as they climb up. But eventually she will get to the top. 
So whilst I understand that Jester Minx is her own adult and it was wrong of her not to follow the instruction of her friend when attending these parties, I also believe that if I was in front of a cokehead, I'm not going to rack up five lines in front of them because that would be mean. So what is the conclusion to this entirely messy situation? <laughs> The treatment for addiction can take many forms, including medication, therapy, and support groups. The most effective approach depends on the individual's specific situation and needs. Medication-assisted treatment, which uses medication to manage the withdrawal symptoms and cravings, can be particularly effective for those individuals with substance disorders. Behavioural therapies such as cognitive behavioural therapy can help individuals identify and change the negative thought patterns and behaviours that contribute to addiction. Support groups like Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous can also be helpful for individuals in recovery. They can provide a supportive community and a space to share experiences and challenges with others who have gone through similar experiences. The point I'm trying to make here is that there are numerous different options available to Jester Minx. She can go back to rehab. She can hang out with Alcoholics Anonymous. She can take more proactive steps to help herself. However, I think that the first step that it is that she has made by removing herself from, you know, La La Land, the land of uninhibited desires and coming back home to Ireland was probably the best thing for her. I did think that until I saw one of her most recent streams. See, just a minx, I'm not sure whether she's fully ready to stop her drinking habits as a stream that she did when she was back home ended so very violently <laughs> so let's take a look Now listen, I don't know whether she was drinking or whether she was drunk. I didn't watch the full stream, so I guess I'll never know. But what I do know is, is that this seems to me like a person who's dealing with some family trauma. So if I was gonna make any kind of suggestion to Minx, maybe start there. Start with the actual issues before actually trying to be sober. Sometimes the, the drink is to encapsulate the bigger problem and the bigger problem needs to be dealt with. We use the vice in order not to deal with it. But whilst Justin Minx is in this transitional period, what I can see is at least she's trying. And maybe trying to you means that somebody gets it straight away. But the reality is, again, relapse is a part of recovery and she's going to get it wrong so many times she's gonna f up she's gonna get totally lathered she's gonna have a situation take place in her real life that's gonna make her you know fall back into the old habits and you just have to be there with open arms and grace for the moment that we all know is coming when she will eventually change <sighs> okay, that's about it for today's video. I just wanted to take a little bit more of a compassionate take when it comes to, you know, addiction and recovery and stuff. I've had a lot of my friends and family members go through all of that kind of stuff. So I think it's it's important that there is some compassion. I also want to note, just like as a side note at the very end of this video, I also believe in looking after yourself. And if QT Cinderella or any of her friends or any of the other social media colleagues, etc., who have become close 
to minx and now feeling like there's just nothing else I can do and I need to look after myself. Putting yourself first also shouldn't be penalized because sometimes maybe that tough love is what somebody needs in recovery also. However, I just simply will never understand how it will ever be productive if social media at large go ahead and start dragging somebody for an addiction. Like it's an addiction. <laughs> This isn't the same as somebody actively going out of their way to do bad and be bad. This is somebody who has a vice that they're really struggling to deal with. Anyway, with that being said, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to my patrons, my members, as well as my YouTube fam. I really appreciate you guys holding me down as you always do every time. And with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day or evening, whatever the hell it is you're doing. And until next time, you beautiful, amazing, badass bitches. It's been Paige.